Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome to this week's vlog. It is Friday morning and I have a very interesting Friday. Long story short, I can't like give you details because I've signed an NDA. There's this very big well-known company that about a year ago I auditioned for through my commercial agents, but it was for a live event and I booked it. Then they asked me to do another one and then they asked me to do another one. And so today I'm doing one, but we're basically just employees. So it's very interesting that I booked it through my agents. It's a, uh, it's, it's physical labor for sure. Today it's in Venice and my call time is 12 o'clock. So Venice is very far. So I need to budget at least an hour to get there. And it is nine right now. So I'm going to do a quick home workout and then just get ready and go for the day. So I can't really record any of that. I don't think so because of that, I'll probably extend this vlog longer into next week as well. So you can see more of my week. Just 10 minutes, but better than nothing. I actually did a 10 minute one yesterday too and I'm pretty sore from it. But I'm gonna make a salad for breakfast, which I know sounds weird, but I am a strong believer that breakfast doesn't have to be breakfast foods. I'll show you what I'm making. I had it yesterday and it was so good. I'm gonna do some arugula, ton of edamame for that protein and fiber, some avocado. The last little bit of my siete cashew queso. It's so good. And some tapatio. Like some I mean a lot, cause I love tapatio. A little pinch of salt. So, cheers to breakfast. I'm gonna eat that and then put my face on. Okay, y'all, I received a gift. This is from Amika. It's one of those straightening hair brushes that I have always wanted to try. Like, I can't even wrap my mind around the fact that that even works. So I figured we could try it together uh, because I hopefully it'll help me get ready fast. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, it lights up red and it shows you how quickly the temperature is climbing. That's insane. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, it does kind of work. Well, it worked. I need to work on my technique. There's still some bumps, like it's not completely straight. I figured out it works better when you like pull the hair like through the brush. And it probably also would have worked better if I did it in layers like when I actually straightened my hair. I think it was quicker than straightening, but also a little less efficient. Got my water and my matcha and I'm ready to go. There is a random truck blocking me though. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, that truck had no owner, so I did like a 20 point turn with about an inch to spare and just like squeezed out of there. It's kind of stressful. And I also didn't realize I need gas. So I like to be early to things and now I'm just going to be on time, which is very unlike me. Okay, so traffic is terrible, but I've been getting so many phone calls from like a 1-800 number and I normally just ignore them, but I got annoyed. So I was finally gonna answer it and tell them to stop calling me. And guess who it was? It was HelloFresh asking why I canceled my subscription. <laughs> like that just puts a sour taste in my mouth. That seems like guilt tripping people into being customers again. Not a bad parking space, I must say. Very pretty. All right, well I'm here. I'm expecting like a nine or 10 hour day. I'm gonna leave my camera in the car, but I will see you later tonight. Who knows? Who knows what time I'll be off and who knows what I'll do? It's Saturday. The event last night was long. I was there for like 10 hours, but it was with friends that I know because we had worked two other events before together. So at least that was fun. And I got some cool swag, like I got these shoes. They're really cool. There's Brooke. And then I also got these leggings. So I'm wearing them again today because we are on our way to a tournament in Huntington Beach. So it's supposed to be chilly, which I'm excited about because I've been really hot at tournaments lately. So it's like an hour plus drive. But I made myself a smoothie with like, five tablespoons of flaxseed because I feel like I really need some fiber in my life right now. And we're off. Well, Brooke was losing his first game for like quite a while, but after 12 innings, they won. And we're gonna go get him food and find me a bathroom. Okay, I'm so excited because someone just told me about a place that is four minutes away called the Fermentation Farm. Uh, we have a two hour game break because Brooke just won, but he completely busted up his knee. That was not good, but they apparently have kombucha on tap and like all these different healthy snacks and fermented foods and it sounds like my personal heaven and I'm really excited. I just cut my knee, I didn't burst my knee. People are gonna think I'm like very injury prone. Oh no, look, he just did this. I wouldn't put that on you. I'll put a trigger warning beforehand. Yeah, so uh, I'm very excited. There's something for Brooke, there's something for me, and then softball and kombucha. What's for me in there? Softball all day. Oh, okay. I thought you meant at the kombucha place. Oh, 
Um, they, they might have beer. Beer is fermented. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> The place is literally a dream come true. Brooke gave me permission to go ham. So I got completely raw cinnamon bun cake. Zero refined sugar. Paleo vegan raw snacks that are barbecue crackers. I got a mint and maca superfood chocolate quinoa crunch bar. A matcha chocolate chip mint pre and probiotic energy ball. And then tangerine kombucha. And they make all those kombuchas there. And they just like cycle out which ones are on tap. Kind of like a brewery, I guess. They even had like root beer, but I just asked them which one's the most tart because I like tart kombuchas and they said this one and it's so good. I am just so excited. <sighs> you want more Del Taco? Oh. I'm very excited. I'm gonna try the cinnamon roll cake for you. Look at it. <gasps> oh my gosh. I feel like you'd actually like this. It almost has like a little bit like of a cream cheese cinnamon roll taste to it. Very light. I love it. Look at this. I love maca. I knew it helped hormones, but this verifies that it balances your hormones and helps ease stress. I think you should just get be these like about once a month, if you know what I mean. Now Brooke is getting his fermented drink of choice. He found a brewery in an office building. <laughs> Maybe it's cool, we don't know. Wow, the tournament's over. They got second place, but look at this view. This food court, it's so cool. We found this restaurant called the American Dream that has a truffle burger that you can get lettuce wrap. Hi. Oh, also, Brooke got a black eye playing. He ran into the fence, so he's starting to form a black eye over there. Oh, buddy. Mm. What did you get? With a brownie sundae? They didn't have dairy-free ice cream, so I just got a banana covered in chocolate. Who votes saying hello from a bougie bathroom should be a series. I'm down. I'm very underdressed for this mall. We are home and I just showered and I'm so tired for bed. I wanted to try out a face mask because I was just gifted one by Dr. Brandt and I am so intrigued because it's magnetic. You put it on and then you take it off with a magnet. It's supposed to be anti-aging. Oh gosh, look, it's black. It smells kind of like minty, but you're supposed to apply this with the spatula, wait five minutes and then cover the magnet with a paper towel and then remove it. I'm probably doing this in front of a mirror, not a camera. Most face masks feel like they burn when you put it on, but this one doesn't feel like it burns. I was actually kind of worried because I was like, I've been out in the sun all day, so it might be a bad idea to do a face mask. But this feels more like hydrating than, like, I associate dark with charcoal and charcoal with burn. It's not gonna touch this for like five minutes. I'm gonna go clean up. <laughs> this is the magnet, and you're supposed to wrap it in a paper towel, and then you're just supposed to hold it up really close to your face, and you might have to get close to see it come off without actually touching my face, but whoa, wait, I feel it. Whoa, it's standing up because magnets. Oh. Whoa. Because it's magnetic. <laughs> what does it look like? It's a whole stripe gun. <laughs> My mind is blown. Good morning, it's Sunday. Another Sunday, another baseball game. My favorite field because it's the one next to a Starbucks and next to a Target. How beat up are you feeling, babe? Uh, not. He, yesterday, he hurt his ankle a couple weeks ago, busted up his knee, uh, ran into a fence with his face, and then something with his arm. There's like literally a huge swollen knot on his arm, so things are going great. Also, I have bone broth in here for breakfast. Am I a psychopath? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My stomach just still feels so behind on like digestion that I'm trying to give it a break this morning and just give it protein and no solids. Also supposed to be like 90 degrees and hot during his game, so gonna tan. You're gonna get red like you did yesterday. Oh man, look at that line. <laughs> well, today's injury, Brick was hit in the face by a baseball. Well, that's just 
awesome. I have to pee, surprise, surprise. So I'm just going to Target because there's a few things I need and also it's time to officially plant some of my propagated plants. So I'm gonna see if there's any cute little pots. So let's go. Well, I found a couple options, each like $4 a pee. Look how cute this little guy is. Uh-oh, Whole Foods again. I got soup since it's not solid. I bought four more bags of these, so we like them. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, we showered and completely changed and got ready in like 40 minutes, which is record time. And Brooke fixed the toilet, so go Brooke. <laughs> Hire me for all your plumbing. <laughs> if you live in the Pasadena area and need a plumber. That just has to take the lid off. <laughs> That's all you did? Pretty much. Okay. Just it <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to church with wet hair. Wet hair, warm heart. <laughs> Apparently all the church bathrooms are out of the little like diffusers and that was given to Brooke as a task to get before this next Sunday. He remember today. So mine did today. So you forgot. I did forget completely. <laughs> so we're gonna swing by Target and hope they have it. Already late though, but you know, we're running an errand beforehand, so I guess it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. We're late because we're doing things for the church. Second time in a Target today, but we found a little tiny essential oil diffuser, so I call that a success. We made an impulse purchase of veggie straws, but I was telling Brooke, these are literally just potato chips. They shape differently and then they color with vegetables to make you not feel bad about eating them. Jenga. It's a Mexican drink that is him trying a churro. She's Australian, so she hasn't tried one. And some horchata. Is it good? <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> seats are loud. We are out of church like an hour earlier today. It's only 11. I'm not gonna get a burger. I'm just going to have some fries. Some fries and a burger. No, no burger, no burger. No burger, no problem. I gotta be healthier and I'm not gonna have all the fries. Oh, that's so many fries. Hey, you wanna know a fun fact? Fries rhyme with thighs and that's what my thighs are made of. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. I like to like get my week off to like a really productive start and lately with us getting out of church so late, even though we got home an hour earlier, we still went to bed after midnight. Me waking up late, I just feel like I'm not getting off to a very productive start. That's okay, I got ready and my goals for today is I'm gonna film one sit down video, one video where I go thrift, I'm gonna do another thrifting video, and then meal prep, and then I go into work a little bit earlier tonight. There's not too much on my plate today, and then tomorrow, focus on editing. I'm also going to go check out an Equinox gym with my neighbor, which is ridiculously expensive, so I probably won't go there, but we found out that the Pasadena location is quite a bit cheaper than the other locations. Get some social media work done tomorrow, maybe edit. I said that, right? I don't remember, <laughs> I'm frazzled. So I'm gonna set up my filming, and knock out one of those videos. Finished filming my first video, and then I filmed an intro for the thrift video, and groceries are almost here. I ordered groceries again because this is exciting. So I have decided to take a mental health day on Wednesday, like a treat to yourself day off day. Um, I helped my mom sell furniture. <laughs> For, she's like moving currently. She's giving me a commission on everything I sell. So I told myself, whatever I make off that is going to be fun money. So I'm taking that amount of money and on Wednesday, I'm gonna get my nails done, I'm gonna get a facial. That is my plan for Wednesday. So because of that, I'm trying to get as much done as possible today, which is why I'm trying to knock out all my videos for this week and then also meal prep, everything like that. So groceries should be here any second. Actually, let's plant some of my propagated plants real quick because some of these guys are getting big roots. 
Look at those roots on this guy. So I think some of them need to be planted. These are the three pots I bought at Target. And then this was a candle from Anthropology, and I'm gonna use that as a pot as well. Okay, that was not the easiest thing, but this little guy's done. I hope he likes it in there. He's the biggest one, so I gave him the biggest pot for now until he grows a little more. Look how cute this guy is. I love him. Okay, planted, 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 planted. Still propagating, still propagating. I feel like a successful and proud plant mom. Now I'm gonna quickly meal prep before heading out. Then I get a southern accent all of a sudden. Ready to see the easiest dinner ever? Literally gonna dump everything in the crock pot. Cauliflower. Boom, chickpeas. I'm also going to leave in their liquid. Some chicken breasts. Boom, boom. Tikka masala simmer sauce. And then I'm just gonna make sure everything is well coated and leave the crock pot on for a few hours. And do your thing. Okay, so I got this new hummus. It is Thai coconut curry hummus. I really wanna try it, but the only crackers I have in the house are sun-dried tomato and basil. And that sounds like a very odd combination. It like is not really a hummusy texture and it's very yellow. It's kind of sweet. Agave nectar is like the third ingredient. This would be so good without agave. The agave makes it way too sweet. They were so close, but no cigar. These crackers are bomb though. <laughs> Feeling good, got my thrifted baby doll dress on and my white sneakers. It's another gloomy day in LA. It's been like this for a while. Oh, and there goes the dishwasher, that's my cue. Let's go. Wow, I'm shocked. This place is huge. There's an outlet center, a donation center, a retail store, a community enrichment center, and a cafe. Donation, outlet, and then back there, it's hard to see. Wow, I can't wait for you to watch this video because let's just say everything I got ended up being like mm, 70 cents a piece. That's exciting. I need to get gas. A little change in plans for the day. I might not be able to film my try on haul right now. My neighbor, poor thing, is really not feeling well. So she asked me if I can come over and watch the kids. I'm going to do that. I guess just try to get everything else done tomorrow. Wednesday's looking less and less possible for a mental health day, but I already booked the appointments. So it has to happen. Getting gas. Wow, I'm sweaty. It didn't quite go as planned. Thankful that I get to help people out. I don't think I'm cut out to be a mom for quite a while. It's are a lot of work. I admire all moms very much. I didn't get to film my try on haul because I had to tidy up a few things and now I have to get ready for work. Oh shoot, I'm officially not as early. I'm always early to everything, but might be on time to work, which for me is late, so. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Let's hang out on Tuesday as well, Wednesday. I'm out of office, not work. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. It is like 7.30 a.m. I had to wake up and move my car because it's trash day. So I was gonna go tour that gym today, but it was with my neighbor who's not feeling well, which actually works out great because, I mean, not that she's not feeling well, but we can't do that because I do feel behind on work. So my plan for the day is right now I'm going to respond to emails, edit one video, and then I'm gonna try to go to the gym. I don't feel that great that time of the month, so I'm like so in pain. Sometimes I feel better if I move my body. Sometimes I feel worse, so I'm gonna feel it out. But if I go to the gym, it's next order to creation. So I wanna try to find some like anti-inflammatory something. I don't know, because it just feels so inflamed. Get ready, do my try on haul, and edit the rest of the day. Maybe pull some social media pictures before work tonight. All right, I edited a whole video in that, and I made another salad for breakfast. It's literally just arugula, hot salsa, Hillary's little veggie bites. If you've never had these, it's like mostly quinoa and veggies. Millet, kale, spinach, Oh, so not even quinoa. <laughs> Millet and veggies. So, gonna have that for breakfast. And I have to do a voiceover audition. And we're gonna try to go to the gym. I just read a couple articles saying that working out can help cramps. So I'm gonna try it. Set up. Ready to go. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm doing it, I'm off to the gym. I am loving my new shoes. They're just so cool. Sorry, I'm very backlit, but I did like 20 minutes of cardio and it did help with my cramps, so that's good. And I got this, it's a serenity juice. It has turmeric, lemon, agave, ginger, and cayenne. I got two shots. One of them is flushed down. It has charcoal, uh, probiotics, apple cider vinegar, pineapple, apple mint. And then I got a beautify that has activated silicone, silicon boron, zinc, 
50 shades of green. Mostly got it because it looked intriguing. And then, because I'm craving something chocolatey, I got these little raw cacao nib energy bites. They're really good. I already ate one. I just realized how weird these look if you've never uh, been to Creation. And they're like in these syringes, I think just for show, just because it's quirky, but you just, Take it like that. Oh, showered, so I'm feeling good. I'm gonna put it on my face, but I just heard someone chuck a package at my front door. You know when you hear someone like literally throw a package and you're like, I hope whatever that was wasn't breakable. I was just given new shampoo and conditioner, which is awesome because I'm literally out of my shampoo and conditioner from Cell. And I have heard about this brand. I'm very excited. It says it's specialized stem cell hair formula. Contains a blend of hair strengthening, stimulating ingredient, which is awesome because I have actually very thin hair. So that's great. So I'm gonna put on my face and get to filming and then get to editing. Well, never mind. I gotta get ready real quick because my neighbor just asked me if I could help watch the kids again. I'm sure I can do it all. I'm sure I can do it all, right? I can do it all. I can do it all. I can do it all. <laughs> I got this. Okay, I'm back home. Set up my filming area, my try-on haul, and I have two hours to film that and then edit it, if I can, <laughs> before work. But let's do it. I think I need more caffeine finished filming and I'm so excited with everything I got. Like, I'm so excited. Now I have less than an hour to try to edit. So, uh, here we go. Gonna edit in bed because I <laughs> still don't feel great. I actually did it. I sometimes don't know how things work out that well, but um, 10 minutes later than I normally start getting ready for work, so I gotta get ready for work. And with that, I'm going to end the vlog here. I am so excited for tomorrow. And we have a super fun vlog coming up this next week because we are going home to Texas. We're going to a wedding and my family is saying goodbye to my childhood home, which is very sad. Come along with us for that one next. Love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and making it all the way to the end. I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.